Welcome to the Dice Tower's coverage of the Gamma Trade Show 2013, aka Tom and Eric Go to Vegas, in which we bring you the latest board game news from the show. Hey folks, Tom Bassel here from the Dice Tower. Last week I was able to go to the Gamma Trade Show in 2013 and we put out several videos interviewing different manufacturers and designers and finding out the news for you. But many people probably do not even know what GTS is, the Gamma Trade Show. And so I made this video to show you what it is and if you are a retailer, manufacturer, publisher, designer, why you should go from, not from me, but from the people who already do go. So. Here they are. I'm John Ward. I'm the executive director for Gamma, the Game Manufacturers Association. Gamma is the uh, professional trade association. It's a nonprofit for the social game industry. So our members participate at varying levels. We have publishers and manufacturers who are the core voting members. We have distributor members. We have retail store members. And then we have communicating members, which is a catch-all category for everybody from game designers to uh, independent small startup companies before they can actually get product out into print and distribution. Um, and it's just, you know, anyone who wants to participate, artists, authors, things of that nature. Uh, we get together once a year as an industry. It's a closed event and the trade show is an opportunity for manufacturers to reach retail stores. So there's a variety of ways that they do that. We have an exhibit hall similar to a consumer show like Gen Con or our show Origins where we have an exhibit hall, but it's on a much smaller scale. We don't let people buy large booths. A 10 by 10 or a 10 by 20 is the biggest they can get unless they're a sponsor. And it's the idea is to connect manufacturers with retail stores to do order writing for their stores, to show new releases, and uh, to promote product lines. We also do a premier presentation program where manufacturers present directly to retail stores. So it's just like any other professional conference, you can go through and say, okay, I want to go to the Wizards of the Coast presentation, or do I want to go see Mayfair, or do I want to see WizKids? I guess I'll have to do that one at 11 and this one at 10, because they have all these different time slots during the course of the day. In addition to that, we have an array of seminars, professional seminars for staff. So we have retailer to retailer seminars. It's really an unparalleled uh, training event in our industry. We have uh, manufacturer seminars. Today we have uh, Kickstarter doing a presentation. We have uh, service providers come in and everything from connecting manufacturers to um, box producers and print companies and things to help our manufacturers and our business programs be more successful. Well, you're going to get content that you'll not get anywhere else. So uh, you'll get an opportunity to interface and do networking on a scale that's unparalleled. Not everybody gets together all the time. They do sometimes at the larger consumer events like Gen Con or Origins, but they're busy because those are consumer public shows. This is strictly business show. So a ton of business gets done here. In addition to that, as a retail store, you're going to get an opportunity to participate outside the silo de de delivery service system. So. You know, retail stores typically offer a array of products for their consumers, but you're not going to go two miles down the store and ask the other retailer what's going to be going good for them this year. But here, you can talk from a retail store in California, can talk to somebody in New York, and they can compare ideas and do brainstorming and just gain a lot of good programming for what they want to do, in addition to the actual form of program tracks we have. Uh, one of the things we also do for retail stores is we recognize it's a risk to come out here for a couple days and lose your store. So we have an appreciation box program. So if you go through the premier presentations for the large manufacturers, go to something each time slot, then we're going to send you about $1,500 in brand new product back to your store. And the idea in that program is if I'm uh, selling purple ties this year and that's what I'm marketing as a company, then I would present purple ties at my presentation time. I would do purple ties at games night on Wednesday night and do demos of people. And then in the box, I'd put X number of purple ties in order to get that into your store with an incentive for you to sell that to offset your travel expenses for coming to the show. And that's been a very successful program for us. Uh, I'm Bobby Stickle. I'm the director of marketing with GTS Distribution. Uh, we're here because the retailers are here and all of our vendor partners are here. We have a uh, obviously a very strong partnership with all the major manufacturers as well as a lot of the minor manufacturers. And we are here to um, not only visit with them but talk to the retailers about how we increase value to them. In other words, everything we do from a sales, marketing, distribution, fulfillment standpoint is centered around increasing retailer value. To, to promote to retailers, you know, our product line. Um, I'm, I'm passionate about gaming um, and uh, I want to, you know, I want to support the industry. 
um, and because I'm pr pr really privileged to be here. Um, you know, I've been able to succeed uh, with two Kickstarter campaigns, um, and um, I have the, you know, I have a I have a team that backs me up uh, to to make to make our games happen, and uh, I think all in all we're we're on a. Uh, a cool journey right now of of making things for people to have fun with and that's really cool well the gamma trade show being all about distributors and retailers and manufacturers it's business to business which is what we are we're business to business company you know our job is to get hired by a publisher uh, so it's great for new business uh, so that's half the reason the other half is for our existing clients um, we work out something special with gamma for the sponsorships where we can divide it between many of our publishers and make it affordable for them versus you know dropping five thousand dollars as a sponsor I mean you can't do that as a small press company so we go to Gamma and we work out splitting up the show fractionally from our publishers so we'll have a booth that two booths that have six publishers in it and then we'll have a sponsorship time which is divided into six publishers talking so they may not get the one hour giant presentation but if you're a small publisher with one game, you get your 10 minutes in front of a whole bunch of retailers, it's valuable to them. And it makes it affordable, so. Well, this is my first year being here. And it was recommended to me by um, uh, some important uh, retailers that, that I deal with in my hometown of Santa Cruz. And it was about a year ago when Frank came back from the Gamma Show and he said, I'm really surprised I didn't see you there. And I said, I didn't know anything about it. And he went, well, you need to go because it is the best trade show for people like you who are designing games and want to get the exposure to retailers like me. So that's why um, I signed up. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, based on our first day, we're going to have our second day today. Our first day, we, we made nothing but great contacts. And we saw the excitement in people's eyes as they saw our games and they saw the potential of having these in their store and uh, many of them said these aren't in any store, you know, or uh, rather the Tiny Zombies game isn't in a store yet and I went, oh, it's going to be available after the Kickstarter funds and they went, well, we, we, we want it like as soon as possible, you know, as soon as it, it goes out. So we're unique in our area so that uh, people will come to them for that game specifically. So, you know, I think that the, the show is good. It excites people, it gets them, you know, gaming and thinking about, uh, thinking about the possibilities. Uh, retailers uh, certainly have a positive attitude uh, out there on the floor. And uh, the, the really small exhibitors definitely have a positive attitude as well. They're here to get their game out there, get feedback and see about getting either some funding for it <coughs> or it's already been produced and they really want to just sell and it, this is a great venue to do that. This is where you meet retailers, you meet distributors, get to catch up with friends you see maybe twice a year, uh, maybe three depending on the conventions you go to and for newer publishers or newer retailers you they have a, a series of good panels that you can attend and are very informative give you a lowdown on how to get into distributors what distributors there are uh, different manufacturing methods um, and and things like that also a chance to see some of the names from the hobby such as yourself starting this year or um, Andy Looney um, things like that which is kind of fun we distribute through acd it's nice to come in contact with retailers uh, so it's it's important it's very do you get a lot of good feedback from retailers about your products here oh, yes yes it's a, it's like evolutionary process and we get feedback and retailers suggest that give, gives us a lot of tips how should we do it last question so what's the importance for you as a publisher to come here to gts Gamma Trade Show has always been uh, really important for me for um, pressure testing a lot of my games just before I send them on press with, uh, with retailers and distributors. Um, they're going to tell me things that are going to help them sell the game, uh, everything from a box size to the display. I almost had a problem with uh, my second game, uh, Deadhead and Chaos Poker, in that um, I was just going to make it a, it was just a small standard playing deck. Uh, it was a poker deck, and I was just going to put a little J-hook on it 
you know, and let it make it be a, a peggable thing, you know, in stores. Retailers saw that and said, it's too, too high a risk of pilfering. Um, I won't stock it like that. Here's what you need to do. Put it in a, in a six pack so I can put it on the counter in a little display. Now I can sell it. It saved me uh, a lot of lost sales. Um, so that's an example of something that is really just absolutely invaluable to, to, to have that kind of interaction. Plus, it allows me to kind of pre-sell the eight ideas. Uh, it lets uh, the retailers play before it hits the market. So when it finally does hit the market, those retailers that are here are already going to be excited about it, already going to know kind of what the game's about and can help sell it to their, to their, uh, their customers. I think that the, the, the GTS um, presentation is good for manufacturers and, and retailers, right? I think that there's a lot of good things that are going on. Um, I also believe that uh, your marketing dollars have to be um, monitored very well for any company, right? So uh, whether or not it's, it's, uh, it's somewhere for a, a publisher to come and, and spend his money, um, that, that's something that the presidents of the company and the, and the bean counters have to weigh out, what, what the real worth. What we know is that when you come to GTS, you're, you're talking to a very um, engaged demographic that care about what they're doing, and that is excellent. You can't beat that, right? So it's absolutely worth, uh, worth the time to come here. Uh, it's, a, it's a great, great event. In the past, I used to come here to uh, to come and meet publishers and get a lot of face time. This is a this is different from conventions like Gen Con, uh, where the booths are always busy and there are always people coming by doing demos. Um, for a designer, you get a lot of really quality face time with uh, with all of your publishers. Um, nowadays, I'm here mostly just to renew contacts and uh, stay, um, just keep up. Uh, and so every once in a while, make these cool little deals over lunch uh, for the future. So Gamma Trade Show here in Vegas every year is pretty much our, our only major U.S. show where you can have lots of good face time with retailers, lots of good face time with uh, members of the press, and lots of good face time with um, other publishers. There's a lot of that sort of thing that happens here. So it's just a good opportunity for people to um, get, if you're at Gen Con, you're at Origins, all those shows, that's great because you get to see consumers, you get to see the press, etc. But you don't get to see the sort of industry side of things. We don't get time to talk shop because it's, oh, I have 10 minutes before I run to my next meeting or I have to sell you know, people games. That's sort of, that's the making money stage. Here it's just, yeah, we've got games to show off, but it's, trade shows are a very different feel from conventions. And so this is an opportunity and this is the sort of most important of those shows that is uh, that opportunity for industry talk to happen. And so it's interesting every year to see that. It's certainly not, if you're, uh, if you're a publisher that hasn't been here before, you should definitely at least come once. Uh, even international publishers a lot of times will pop over. So uh, it's definitely a worthwhile experience. We come every year. And uh, when I was doing retail stuff for Mary Games, I came every year as well. And that was a great uh, experience as from the retail side of things, because it gives you an opportunity effectively as a publisher to talk with your customers, the retailers. So your consumer conventions are the opportunities to talk to your end users uh, and gamers that are buying stuff. But this is your opportunity to talk to effectively your sales partners, people that are helping you promote and support your games in those local markets. Uh, we got to meet a lot of uh, our partners. Uh, as you know, we're a publisher. So many of these titles are, are from very, very talented uh, partners. And uh, what better place to meet them than in Vegas, right? Do some business, go to some shows, have some great food. This is it's awesome. All right. Love it. And that's a wrap for our Gamma Trade Show coverage this year in 2013. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed these videos. The next convention we'll be going to this year is Origins later on, run also by Gamma. But this one everybody's invited to, so I hope to see you there. Uh, we'll talk more about that in the coming months. Until then, my name is Tom Vassell, and you've been watching Eric Summers and mine videos of the Dice Tower. Thanks for watching the Dice Tower. Join us next time for more news from the show.